Wow, do I need to work on my prediction skills? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. This is Jason. Uh, this video is going to be talking about uh, SummerSlam Fallout. Uh, what happened at SummerSlam and uh, if there was any uh, consequences or what all happened tonight at Raw. Not going to go through every single little thing, but, you know, the card itself at SummerSlam and consequences from tonight. So... All right, so let's let's start off by saying um, SummerSlam was incredible. It really was a uh, great pay-per-view. I've even heard some people say that it was better than WrestleMania itself. I don't know if I'd go that far, but it, the card was the card was stacked. It was a great show. All the matches really. Um, I don't, in my opinion, I don't think there were any sleeper matches. Well, you can call the the Brie Bella, Stephanie McMahon, a sleeper match if you want. I wasn't really paying that much attention to it, to be honest. I think that was my uh, go-get-a-beer match. Um, I, I was correct with the uh, result, though. Uh, I, was, um, I was I was 50-50 for my guesses, and that just goes to show that uh, WWE can come up with some surprises so all right so let's let's start at the top of the card there was Dolph Ziggler versus the Miz for the Intercontinental Championship um, <laughs> right off the bat um, got this one wrong <laughs> I assumed like I'm sure many others did that the Miz was going to retain I mean he had just won the Intercontinental Championship so why would they take it off of him right away? I'm still kind of baffled by this. Um, but I think they built this up well and just really shocked that they gave it to Dolph Ziggler. It was, he won at SummerSlam. He, he took the Intercontinental Championship from The Miz, which was refreshing. Um, not sure why. You know, I guess... I guess I, like many other fans, assume that Dolph Ziggler, like I said in my predictions video, that with all of his injuries and concussions, that they're pretty much done with him, and they weren't going to do anything else with him. Well, you know, Dolph Ziggler even said after winning, he's going to prove everyone again that this belt is a stepping stone to greater things. So, who knows? Maybe they did... Uh, reevaluate him, and they're deciding to give him another chance down the road. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of Ziggler's, uh, and and the Miz is decent. You know, hell, he he headlined WrestleMania, whether you like him or not. Hey, you know, the guy went one on one with uh, John Cena and put on a pretty good show that night a few years back. But um, so yeah, Dolph Ziggler. One at SummerSlam on Sunday night, and I had a feeling he was going to lose it back to Miz tonight, but he didn't. Uh, Miz won the match, but Ziggler kept the title because it was a countout. And whether he hurt himself tonight or not, kind of hard to tell. He limped, you know, leaving the ring and basically kicked the Miz back in the ring to give himself counted out. So, Weird, weird ending. Uh, didn't like the ending, but nonetheless, Ziggy is still champ, so awesome. Next on the show, I did get this one correct. Page defeated AJ Lee. Um, great match. Completely smitten with Page's new ring gear, that black and that red. Oh my god, just... It's beautiful. <laughs> Shh, don't tell Tracy. <laughs> you heard nothing. Um, yeah, good match. I knew I knew this was going to be good. Those two can really put on a hell of a women's wrestling match. Really can. And uh, I had a feeling that Paige was going to win, and she pulled off a win. And by the looks of it tonight, it, it's kind of hard to tell 
if the rivalry's done or not, because Paige tonight on Raw had a match with Natalia. Well, AJ Lee came out skipping again and distracted Paige, and Natalia rolled her up for a win. So, I guess, in a sense, this means that Natalia gets a, uh, a title shot because she defeated Paige. So, if this is going to turn into maybe they're going to keep the rivalry going with Paige and add Natalia in the mix because he defeated her and got a win. Um, <laughs> there's also people out there that said, oh, well, Eva Marie beat her twice, so she should also, you know, get some kind of shot. And Or she beat, she beat AJ, excuse me, when she was champ. So, you know, maybe they'll throw her in too. I don't want to see that. I'm sure you don't want to see that either. But I'm just saying, you never know what the WWE is going to do. We'll see where this goes forward. But nonetheless, it looks like Natalia is going to get a uh, Divas Championship shot somewhere down the road. Uh, but I'm glad Paige is champ again. That's awesome. Next, we had Rusev versus Jack, Jack Swagger in a flag match. Now, I was completely wrong on this. I thought it was going to be like I said in my video, a flag on a pole match where, you know, you got flags on either end and you had to jump up there and grab the flag and, you know, like a capture the flag thing. I was completely wrong. It was a whoever wins the match gets their flag raised up in the end. And so, yeah, I stepped away for a moment, came back, and was completely confused by what was going on in, in the match I saw the flags outside of the ring and I was like what's going on and then you know Tracy my wife told me oh well the flag gets raised at the end and I'm like well that's kind of lame so it's just a regular match um, well I was uh, I was wrong about this one Rusev won Dex Swagger like passed out in the match and um, Zeb got knocked out at the end. So, <laughs> no Zeb on Raw tonight. It, it looks like uh, Swagger's in a bit of a slump because this is twice now he's lost to um, Rusev. He's still over with the crowd, but um, yeah, things just not going well for him. Um, he did not face off with. Uh, Rusev tonight. He went against uh, Cesaro, and uh, I don't think those two are, you know, renewing their rivalry from a while back. But uh, those two can, you know, put on a good match. And Jack Swagger obviously showing the effects from being um, pretty beat up from Rusev at the pay per view from SummerSlam. Uh, so Cesaro beat. Swagger tonight, and um, yeah, Swagger's, Swagger's hurting. Didn't have his guy at his side tonight, uh, so we'll see where, where this goes. Um, it was kind of hard to tell. Um, what's next? Um, oh, but on Raw tonight, as far as Rusev goes, um, Mark, uh, Mark Henry came out. And it looks like he's going to be uh, the next one to challenge Rusev to a match and uh, kill the streak that Rusev has. Um, so I think Rusev is still undefeated. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think he is. But yeah, it looks like the new rivalry is Mark Henry and Rusev. And up to this point, Rusev has gone against guys... And the sides have, have been, I guess you could say, similar. Not exact, of course, but similar. But And Mark Henry got in the ring tonight and completely dwarfed Rusev. Um, and they went back and forth and, you know, he beat him up. And um, Mark Henry got a great chant tonight. Was a little confused by that because earlier in the night tonight, Mark Henry and Big Show beat Eric, uh, 
Eric Rowan and Luke Harper for the Wyatts. And uh, a good, great tag match. Great tag match because those are four big guys that can really go. And, uh, yeah, great, great match. Didn't know if that was going to lead to a new rivalry or something or if this is going to lead to one of those teams getting a, a tag team title shot. Kind of hard to tell. Um, but great match nonetheless. So, yeah, Mark Henry and Rusev going forward probably – um, what is it? Oh, Night of Champions is the next one, I believe. Next, in my opinion, this next match stole the freaking show. Um, uh, and I think many other wrestling fans who saw this match will share my opinion, the same opinion. Um, Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins in this lumberjack. Sometimes when you see uh, lumberjack matches, they're boring. They're back and forth. Someone gets kicked out of the ring. They get thrown back in. But, you know, and it really doesn't go anywhere. Nothing really that big happens. Everyone's just kind of sitting on the outside, twiddling their thumbs. They don't get involved much. This match, oh, my God, went in the ring, out of the ring, out into the crowd with the fans. The Lumberjacks went out there to bring him back because Kane sent him out. This match was complete top to bottom chaos. Loved it. I mean, I'd have to like do some serious research to go and find, you know, a, a whole list of Lumberjack matches from the past. But to my memory, as it serves me right now, this is the best Lumberjack match I think I've ever seen. Seriously. Great match. I was wrong about this one. I was really hoping um, <coughs> excuse me. I was really hoping Dean would win this one and you know end the rivalry. But it looks like Seth Rollins uh, gets the upper hand of this one. And he also got the upper hand tonight and beat him in a rematch. It was uh, no... Oh, false count anywhere. Excuse me. I almost said uh, no DQ. No DQ is what I voted for on the app. Uh, it ended up being false count anywhere, which apparently involves all weapons, no rules, nothing. I thought it was just, you can get pinned everywhere. No, these guys use the tables, the chairs. Um, I thought maybe even some ladders were going to get used, but no, they smash it on tables, you know, into the crowd, back, oh my God, all over the place. Well, so like I said, Seth won at the pay-per-view, and and, uh, yeah, talk about John Cena not being the only one that got a beating put on him. Uh, Dean Ambrose got his butt kicked tonight bad. Um, put up a hell of a fight, though. Was strong through, both guys strong through all of it. Great. Um, and a really hardcore match between the, the Canes, um, what do they call that? Oh, the Singapore Canes. That's what they call them. I was trying to think, you know, old ECW stuff. The chairs, the tables. Both guys went through the table. And then the whole thing ended with, you know, Kane coming out, interfering, screwing Dean, and Dean getting pummeled, curb stomped into a pile of um, bricks. And, uh, yeah. They, uh, they made it look good. They sold everything well. Um, incredible match. Uh, I've heard some people say match of the year from Raw tonight. Um, yeah, it was incredible what these guys did. Just showed how good they are, how well they can go back and forth. Um, headline, once again, you know, so proud of Dean. He's kicking ass on Raw. 
SmackDown, main event, whatever show you put him on, he's, he and Seth, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, but it looks like the rivalry ends tonight. Looks like they're writing off Dean so he can go do his movie. Uh, lockdown that was just announced this past week. I'll be doing a video on that um, sometime in the very near future. Uh, somewhere, uh, maybe tomorrow. We'll see what kind of time I got. But uh, yeah, I'm excited about Dean going doing a movie. Was not sure how they were going to do that, but writing him off tonight is obviously the answer. So uh, great match though, um, incredible, incredible uh, rivalry. I have a feeling it's going to kick up again. We'll see how long it takes for Dean to come back from all this. Uh, speedy recovery though to Dean. Hope you get well soon. <laughs> Um, what's next? Oh, yes. Chris Jericho versus Bray Wyatt. I was correct on this one. This was the second one I was correct on. Uh, Bray Wyatt beat Chris Jericho. Uh, good match. Um, not the match of the night, but good match. You know, both these guys can really perform well. And it's hard to tell whether this rivalry is done or not because both guys had a interview tonight talking about the other. So, uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know how much longer um, Chris Jericho is going to be around. I think it's another month, maybe more. I don't know. Um, you know, Bray Wyatt went three months with uh, John Cena, and that was good. That was a solid rivalry. Um, didn't think it was going to be able to be done well for three months. Well, you know, maybe they're going to keep this going for one one last month before Jericho goes bye bye again and uh, really give really give it it all on this uh, last match. Hard to tell. We'll see where it goes in the next couple of weeks. I'm sure we'll find out soon. But nonetheless, so far over the last two months, this rivalry has been good. Uh, can they go a third? Gotta wait and see. But yeah, Bray Wyatt beat Chris Jericho. Um, next. This is uh, the third one I was correct on. Predictions wise, um, man, Brie Bella versus Stephanie McMahon. Oh my God, Stephanie McMahon comes out looking like she raided China's closet, big time. Uh, I had to laugh. I, I I laughed and then I walked away for a while, did something, got a beer, came back. Uh, didn't pay much attention to it. It was okay. Um, Back and forth, obviously. Not that one-sided. Um, Triple H came down. Nikki came down. And like I predicted, Nikki screwed her sister, Brie. And uh, just just decked her. Um, and from the looks of it on Raw tonight, um, Brie was hiding quite the shiner. Well, Nikki basically is with the authority now. And uh, I even saw, I'm going to have to look some more. <clears throat> I don't know if this was an Instagram or if this was on Twitter, but I first saw the picture on Facebook. Um, the uh, I saw a picture of Nikki in Seth Rollins gear. Not gear, but... Um, <clears throat> what do you call that? Oh, she had the short, looks like green shorts, like booty shorts or whatever they call them, and Seth Rollins' shirt real tight, um, like his new one on the WWE shop.com, whatever, you know, his new one. And uh, I think it's some kind of hat, I'm not sure. But, yeah, obviously with the authority now, which is weird because you always see her posting pics of herself in the new John Cena gear. So 
really interesting how this one's going to play out. Um, are you going to see Nikki with Stephanie a lot? Are you going to see her come out with Seth Rollins now as a valet? Um, I don't know. Kind of weird. We'll have to see how it goes. But yeah, Stephanie beat Brie Bella. Nikki turned heel, turned on her sister. And uh, Nikki decked the hell out of Brie tonight. Oh my God. Um, you know, ain't no way she's going to be able to hide that black guy now, man. Man, it's gonna be it's gonna be ugly. <laughs> oh yeah, Bree ran away crying, and um, it is what it is. Nikki's with the authority now, but um, I don't know. So obviously, from here on to to cover the fallout from that, it's gonna be Nikki versus Bree somewhere in the near future. Uh, if they're going to extend this out to the next pay-per-view, or if they're just going to do it on a Raw, we'll have to wait and see. But nonetheless, those two are obviously going to get in the ring for a, uh, you can call it a grudge match, or whatever you want to call it. We'll have to see. Uh, next, Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns. Great, great match from SummerSlam. This was the last one I was correct on. Uh, yeah, at this point of the pay-per-view, I was kind of disappointed in myself. But, you know, th I think the WWE did throw a couple swerves at us, so, you know, hats off to them for doing it. It wasn't as predictable as I thought it was going to be. As right on as I thought it was. Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns... Yeah. <laughs> Roman Reigns. <laughs> eh. Hey. Sorry. Roman Reigns came out on top of this one. Um, and as far as rivalries go, I would call this probably his biggest rivalry yet. Um, it kind of continued tonight. He was put in, well, kind of a rematch. He was... Uh, in a, well, it was a three-on-three. I almost said triple threat. It was a three-on-three. Three. Uh, Rybaxel, Randy Orton versus um, Sheamus, RVD, and Roman Reigns. Um, man, was Vegas hot tonight for Ryback. Oh, my gosh. Um, wow. Just fired up about the hometown guy. At some point, it almost even sounded like they were booing Reigns, uh, which is weird, you know? Be like them booing. Who else is hot? Booing Ambrose or whatever. But no, they they were more for uh, Ryback. They had tons of chance for the guy. Wow, I was really surprised. But, but you know, refreshing, something different. Um, and obviously... The guys in the ring were surprised, too. Ryback was pleasantly surprised. Even Randy was. Randy was really thrown off. He was like, what the heck? You know, it almost made you wonder if they were going to change the ending of the match and have, you know, Ryback come out on top and, you know, do a celebratory win for the home crowd, you know. But, no, RVD came off with a win. Seems to be on a bit of a roll. Um, I did not watch the pre-show from SummerSlam, but I heard he won against Cesaro. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't watch it. Uh, but I, I'm sure it was good, you know, no matter. Uh, those two can, you know, go well. Cesaro and RVD are both great. Um, So, yeah, we'll, we'll see where this goes with uh, RVD. Obviously, he's not going to be around much longer. He's doing that three-month-on, three-month-off deal. Um, so, yeah, we'll see if he starts a new rivalry, if he's just going to stick around and do filler matches. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, it's good to see him win one. It's nice. Um, as far as what's going on with Orton and Reigns, uh... Well, yeah, they had the rematch tonight, but 
kind of hard to tell if uh, if they're continuing this. Randy Orton, after the loss, ran into Nature Boy, Ric Flair, woo, um, talking to him in the hallway, and uh, he just pretty much, you know, blew him off. Didn't even let him say anything. Randy Orton just walked away from Ric Flair. So, um, was a little awkward. Um, kind of hard to tell where that's going. So, um, and we'll have to see what they're going to do with this rivalry. If they're going to kill it after tonight or if they're going to keep it going somehow. Um, obviously, Orton's pissed because now he's got two losses from one way or another from Roman Reigns. So, We'll see. Great, great match at SummerSlam, though. Really good. Um, both guys, top of their game. Good to see Roman Reigns win this one. Last but not least, John Cena versus Brock Lesnar. Um, I heard a lot of people call this match garbage. Some people even call it boring. Heard a couple of boring chants during the match. I don't think it was boring. <coughs> it wasn't exactly the match I expected, but I would not call it boring. Um, John Cena completely decimated in this in this match. Um, slaughtered, killed, destroyed, throw in whatever uh, <laughs> whatever word you want to use to fill in the blank. Uh, John Cena is just, wow. Huge loss for him. Huge loss. Um, 16 German suplexes. Um, I'd like to know if that's a record for a wrestling match, because I know there's been some guys in the past that used to love to do those all the time. Guys like Kurt Angle or Eddie Guerrero, you know, stuff like that. Uh, just killed him. So, yeah, I was wrong about this one. The last one. Was really hoping Seth would cash in, but with Brock completely destroying John Cena, uh, I guess it's no surprise that Seth did not catch it in. If he cashes it in, obviously he's going to pick a time when someone's how do we say, off their game, injured, whatever. You know what I mean. And, you know, Brock Lesnar <laughs> beat Red from doing all those moves to John Cena, sweating like a pig, <clears throat> and uh, just laughing at the end, you know. The new... WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And tonight on Raw was awarded a brand new, which the uh, the belt, the picture of Triple H and the new championship were leaked uh, within the last week or two. So we kind of had a feeling that uh, whoever came out on top of this one, which it didn't seem like it was going to be John Cena, was going to be awarded the new belt. Uh, no one stepped up tonight on Raw and issued a formal challenge to Brock. So we don't know if there's going to be a rematch at Night of Champions between Cena and Lesnar. Cena was absent tonight on Raw. and But apparently he's showing up next week. Now how he shows up, if he's going to show up all beaten, if he's going to show up different, is he going to change? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, some are already saying, oh, he's going to show up next week and he's going to be the heel. He's going to do a heel turn and Brock will be the face. I don't know. I I'm still not. I'm not buying that. But you never know. Um, 
yeah, I'd like to see Cena do something different, but I kind of doubt he is. Oh, he kept saying, oh, you're going to see a different John Cena at the pay-per-view. Yeah, we did. Worst John Cena match ever. <laughs> as far as as far as offense from John Cena, I'm saying. I'm not saying he wrestled horribly. I'm just saying, you know, he he didn't put anything into it. He was it was completely one sided. I'd say it was about ninety ten of Brock, you know, as far as percentage between the two. Um so yeah, we don't know if this is gonna continue. I was also kind of hoping just a little bit. I didn't think it was going to happen, but I was hoping that Seth would show up tonight and maybe do a stare down with Brock saying, hey, you know, I'm still here. Uh, but no, that didn't happen. Um, yeah, the, uh, the, new, the new belt is just gorgeous. Heyman of course, put on an awesome promo. Um, <laughs> some might call it annoying. I call it gold because I'm a Paul Heyman guy. So, yeah, we'll see where this all goes. I was... <sighs> to add to this, and then I'll wrap this up. I was watching the pre-show before Raw tonight. And they were talking about the night before, and I was I was sitting here on the computer, and I was on Facebook, you know, kind of looking at, you know, just seeing who was talking about what before Raw tonight. <clears throat> well, half listening to the pre-show, all of a sudden, it sounded like uh, Alex Riley said, Brock Lesnar signed a full-time contract and I was like what so I grabbed my phone and I was trying to figure out how to like rewind the live pre-show I, I couldn't do it on my phone so I was a little frustrated stopped what I was doing went to go watch raw on my television after raw was done I went on the network watched the pre-show back the last like five ten minutes of it whatever saw that they were doing the predictions for Raw like they have been doing the last few weeks. And Alex Riley actually said, I predict that Brock Lesnar will sign a full-time contract and that we'll see him every week. <clears throat> excuse, excuse me. That we'll see Brock Lesnar every week. Like I said in my prediction video, um, I would be shocked if they made Lesnar champ because the last year and a half, Lesnar has, whether he's won or lost, has gone away for several months at a time and then shown up for big events. Well, now he's the champ. What does this mean for... Lesnar's schedule. Is he going to show up almost every week and do something? Is he going to be a um, how do they say that? Is he going to be a fighting champ? Like several other, almost any other champ you could list from history? Or is he just going to show up in a couple months for something? They got a new championship. They got a new company logo. This is, you know, they're really trying to promote the future of the company over the course of the last few months with these new rivalries. You know, the break of the sh the breakup of the Shield. Roman Reigns doing well. Seth and Dean doing well. Uh, Brock destroying everybody he comes in contact with. John Cena. Mark Henry, Big Show, uh, The Undertaker. So what does this mean? What are we going to see from Lesnar going forward? 
obviously with Heyman. I don't know. Would you like to see Lesnar more often? I know I would. Um, I read earlier today, Steve from ringsidenews.com saying, you know, finally we've got a champ that can really kick some ass. Said something to that effect. Um, yeah, I, I hope... I hope he does show up more often, and I hope he does, you know, wrestle once in a while besides just on the pay-per-views. Um, he looks healthy. He looks like he's doing great. His um, health has, must have been, must be good enough so that they throw the championship on him for a while. Who is going to fight? Who is going to step up and fight Lesnar? Because right now, Lesnar looks undefeatable. Totally. For what he did with John Cena and Undertaker. I can't tell you how many memes I saw of Seth Rollins today saying, Anybody want to buy a briefcase? <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. Um, you know, you know I, I, I really was hoping that Seth would step up and just like, you know, shock the world, just like Brock did at the pay-per-view and destroy John Cena. You know, I don't think anybody expected John to take that kind of a beating. I didn't expect, um, I, I did not expect Brock Lesnar to win, but he is a WWE champ right now. So we'll see, we'll see where it goes. Uh, got some changes. Brock is champ, WWE World Heavyweight Champ. Ziggler is IC champ. Uh, no change for Sheamus. Um, don't know what they're going to do with this United States Championship. Maybe they're going to unify him soon? I don't know, but his lack of presence at the pay-per-view says something. I don't know. Weird. Uh, Page is again Divas champ, two time champ. That's impressive. Obviously, they're happy with her. And the Usos are still tag team champs. Oh, Usos wrestled um, Stardust and Goldust tonight and lost to them. So I guess Stardust and Goldust get a tag team title shot in the near future. Hopefully at Night of Champions. Uh, obviously this whole thing with uh, Goldust and Stardust is a kind of a rebirth for the uh, Rhodes Brothers. The promos have been, we'll just call them entertaining. Weird, creepy, whatever you want to call it. I like him. You know, quite the different, quite the different thing to do for uh, Cody Rhodes. So, uh, yeah, it looks like that's going to happen for Night of Champions or in the near future. We'll see. All right, so that's it. That's my SummerSlam Fallout talk. Uh, what did you think of SummerSlam? Were you shocked as I was that Brock is champ? Uh, I'm happy about it. Just very surprised. We'll see where this all goes for everyone in the future. Um, Seth still ha Seth still has the briefcase, and um, yeah, we'll see. All right, thanks for watching, guys.